is better without us? Yes. Hi, my name is Tony Mitchell. You all have not changed. And uh, for We're those of you that play, she can't be fixed. She can't be cured. The I've done game. the experiments. I've checked her DNA over and over and over again. You and I created the perfect disease. No, actually, I do the job. I make the tough decisions. Do it. I stand by the people who made me who I am. I am warning This you. is one of the best <laughs> scenes in this. Make you angry? Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan's storyline. Who you are, what you are. Maybe that's why Monica got the better of you. I was disagreeing with you, big guy. That banner is a coward. <laughs> Tear the chimera apart again. Or I guess that's it then. And they leave I'm alone. Kamala, Ms. Marvel alone. And Jarvis. Jarvis? I assume you can keep this thing in the air? For quite some time, yes. Oh, that's a relief. This is my first time, so you have to bear with me. It's my first time doing this, so you have to bear with me. Hi to all those people out there that might be watching this. Without proof, there's no hope. But I can't just give up. This can't be how it ends. I played this on Xbox, so... This is my first time playing it on PlayStation. PlayStation 4, by the way. I so hope why that... Why can't I open this? I'm sorry, Miss Khan. Emergency lockdown is still in effect. I will need Mr. Stark's assistance to restore normal power. I hope to get a PlayStation 5 one day, though. I wish I started, actually I wish I started broadcasting that from the, when it started the cutscene, but, I don't know, maybe that was one of the best parts of the cutscene, of course this is like nearly halfway through the storyline, <laughs> sorry I didn't think about it earlier like I said this is my first time ever doing this and uh, and if this is your first time playing Marvel Avengers um, I suggest that you go to the uh, the other part of the uh, war table um, missions like the Avengers Initiative or something and build your characters up before you do the storyline that way when you get to the parts where you have to fight this and fight aim robots and uh, adaptoids and synthoids and uh, what uh, not watchdogs but you know, maybe watchdogs and well, all kinds of uh, enemies that of aim and such and uh, h h human enemies that's against the inhumans like Kamala and other inhumans. And by the way, uh, who who of you out there uh, saw the Ms. Marvel? Uh, TV series, you know, first episode. Uh, tell me what you think about it. I want to hear from you.
But, you know, if I... Uh... If I... Oh, and uh, I realize that you might not be able to see me. I get that. Because, like I said, this is my first time. And, um... And everything. And, um, I don't, I'm not set up for podcasting or <laughs> broadcasting or anything I thought I'd give it a try uh, matter of fact I'm not even sure if uh, if this is even being recorded with me talking about it all I know is it's being recorded uh, I mean all I know is the recording is what you see and maybe maybe my voice ain't no no part of it but like I said for those that are playing Marvel Avengers for the first time and you're doing the uh, re uh, resemble storyline uh, with Kamala Khan, you know, she goes to Avengers Day when she's like 10, 11 years old, and then, and then five years later, you know, as as you see her now, where she's a teenager, and, you know, now this, I got this outfit from, uh, you probably won't have this outfit, because this outfit I got from being a, the membership of the Avengers game or something like that or or uh or PlayStation or or the promotion of the new Ms. Marvel T V series. Uh but, you know, tell me, you know what you like about this outfit. Uh I you know, I put I put this outfit on, uh, like I said, on one of the other missions, the Avengers Initiative, to build up the characters. Uh, all the characters that that have to do with the Kamala storyline. Of course, you know, there's Ms. Marvel. I build her up. Uh, she's a power level. Of course, you got your power levels, and your and your hero level. Uh, now my hero level ain't very far. It's only like somewhere between seven, eight, or nine, something like that. Uh, but my power level is about a sixty uh, on Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, and others like like Thor and Iron Man, Tony Stark, and Bruce Banner, Hulk, and and uh, Natasha Romanov. Black Widow and uh, Captain America uh, you know all those you want to uh, build uh, you know build their character up you know build their power level up uh, as you see nothing is operational uh Trying to see if we can go in any of these crew quarter doors. Uh, that the one I was just at was Kamala's room. I don't know. They got it as Kamala. Well, you know, they got them as their names. Uh, Black Widow. Uh, you know, their names instead of their what they're called, like Black Widow and and Hulk and stuff like that. They got their actual names. You know, because there's Thor. Thor. <laughs> the and Clint Barton, uh, which you know he's Hawkeye, which is my favorite. But. This is Phil Shelton, live on the scene here. Oh, let's let's listen to what the news has. Tonight is something this nation has lived in terror of for five years. A tragedy on the scale of A Day was narrowly avoided over the skies of New York thanks to the quick actions of advanced idea mechanics. If not for the fast response of their defense forces, the Chimera would surely have crashed into Manhattan.
doing untold damage to this densely populated city. The Avengers are indeed back. By the but way, motivations are always, clear. always they try to as ever. stop and watch the news of America rests thing because tonight, it's important. As they wonder where these once mighty heroes could appear next. It's important to watch the news. And what kind of destruction they might leave in their wake. What we witnessed tonight is something this nation has lived in terror of for five years. A tragedy on the scale of A-Day was narrowly avoided over the skies of New York. Thanks to the quick actions of advanced idea mechanics. If not oh, yeah. fast right. their defense forces, the Chimera would Thanks surely to Thor have and the rest of the Avengers. Phil Sheldon. Damage to this densely populated city. You know, he works for the Daily Bugle the like Spider-Man. Interesting. And their tactics as oh, he works for the Daily Bugle like, Much of America I think, like Spider-Man. As they wonder where these once mighty heroes could appear next. What their goals are, and what kind of destruction they might leave in their wake. And always look for these little light things. And wow. try. Even the shield guys left. Maybe they thought Hulk was gonna smash the place up. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, always look for treasures, and you know. I call them treasure chests, but they're called, um, well, <laughs> can't think what they're called. Strong boxes, yeah. Look for all kinds of strong boxes, treasure chests, what I call them, goodie boxes. Um, go to your vendors uh, to, rank your, to rank your character up gear. Like I said, uh, try to rank your character up in the... Uh, Avengers initiative you know and then once you rank your characters up on the certain power levels uh, like here I, I'll show you see I got Kamala at power level 60 uh, oh look here I got some sort of upgrade gear here well some of these you might not want to use to upgrade um, see like this one, well, sorry, like, uh, like this one over to the left, which is Power 56, and, uh, Fightless Inspiration Bands, uh, it's an epic purple, or epic, you, you know, it goes, you know, it ranks in different colors, and, uh, Like, uh, gray is, you know, the lowest, and then you get green next, and then blue is next, uh, and then purple, and then yellow, and, uh, and then, then you got exotic, which that comes way, way later, but anyway, uh, as you can see on this Power 56, next to this Power 59, you got heavy, where it says pin particle heavyweight. Heavy combo finishers inflict particle damage that builds up the particle status meter. In other words, uh, that shrinks that shrinks the the enemy uh, to where you can do more damage. Now you know you can build your character how you like. If you want to do cryo damage, which is freezing them, cryo you know, which is ice freezing, uh, you know, how you want to do it. Now, my suggestion is to always try to look for green. Uh, the The more green that you can get out of out of these uh, gear perks, uh, these you know your your gear, your armor, and your uh, weapons and such. Uh, your melee and your ranged uh, see that's uh, well see that one's got cryo damage uh, uh, and then you got your defensive each character has the same thing melee range defensive and heroic well some of these you, you might want to save to see if you want to go back to them or if you don't 
then you just uh you know just get rid of them like this one see see how all red you don't want you don't want all red so you get rid of it dismantle it you don't want all red uh you know either you don't want mostly red either you want to get rid of the ones that are lower than the one you got equipped and so you know yeah I, I know I haven't got rid of them yet but you know that's up to you get to get rid of them all you know uh, uh, then uh, like I said you get melee range defensive uh, heroic and you know like I said it just depends on what you want to keep and which ones you want to get rid of now I see this one even though it's all red it says that uh, one of the gear perks is a 12.6 percent yeah that's a low percentage I get that when when taking damage to activate a PIM payload on the enemy target now you can choose to use that if you want uh, you know if you don't want but uh, but you know whatever you want to choose I, I understand these are you know green you know go the green and uh, uh, but you know that's that and uh, you know that's your gear and then you got your artifacts and uh, I got all kinds of artifacts now some of these I'm saving because you got two minor artifact slots you know you got another minor artifact slot here of course you have to wait till she gets a hero level 15 which I think right now my hero level is 13 so not too far behind um if you excuse me I need to take a break I'll be back in about five minutes in the meantime you can uh, uh, check out some stuff like the hero challenge card I'll be right back Sorry about that. Um, um, I had to go to the bathroom. Sorry about that. Uh, no, that might be. I hope for my first time, I don't mean to be too unprofessional. But as you can see, there's your challenge card. Now you want to try to level up your challenge card. As you see, it's got it goes um, five 
it's got um, five level well five increments for each of the levels right now I'm working on level five and to do that you got your daily challenges which got to try to get out of the way I got 12 and a half hours and on this one you got defeat grabbed enemies heal nearby strike team members um, now my weekly of course you know if you get your weekly before your daily that's okay as you can see I defeated proto synthoids, synthoids and drones 75 out of 75 34 out of 100 defeat enemies with heroic or intrinsic attacks now if you don't think you'll be able to do those you can refresh them you know and they give you something different by holding the the pink button uh, the uh, square circle button I guess <laughs> uh, so that's the challenge the hero challenge card and you get all these goodies uh resources uh credits uh units like i said i'm working on my next uh, which is uh this uh takedown you know all kinds of cool things as you can see Keep going with that. Um, then you got your comics and your variety of comics, your Thor comic set. Uh, then your Captain America comic set. Your Hulk comic set. Oh, and the thing about these comic sets. Um, if you read underneath the description of the comic where it says Credible Hulk 2001 number 25 but down there where it says collection tier 1 well the more comics you collect the more tiers you you can go I don't know how many tiers you can go up to 30 40 50 60 I don't know the more tiers the higher the tiers the more powerful your so the comic books are important for your character so the more comic books you collect for each like Iron Man Iron Man is for Iron Man of course Hulk is for Hulk Captain America is for Captain America Thor is for Thor Ms. Marvel is for Ms. Marvel Black Widow is for Black Widow Spider-Man's for Spider-Man, Hawkeye Clint for Hawkeye Clint, and then you got your other varieties, Avengers, but you know, you want to get all the comic books you, you can, and you do that on missions or the harm room, um, and uh, in in uh, boxes, uh, I can't think of them. Well, man, I can't think of the boxes. Uh, anyway, there's certain boxes that DNA boxes. I think. Well, Jarvis, anyway. Is there a recording of Bruce's interrogation of Monica? Certainly, Miss. You can access it in the interrogation antechamber. If I may be so bold, Miss Khan, what do you hope to find in the interrogation footage? I don't know. I have to try something. Maybe she slipped up. But like I said, there's there's uh there's strong boxes called DNA boxes. And DNA boxes, you need DNA keys and 99% to 100% of those DNA boxes you get comic books out of them and but you get comics out of some other strong boxes or goodie boxes or treasure boxes and uh you know hey 
Seems the real enemy. I wish Bruce and Tony could see that. Yeah, right. That's right, Kamala. Unless they could see it. I'm guessing these were the aim bots that was fought during part of the storyline when when Kamala had to follow Iron Man before she started fighting on her own and such. Looks like those shield guys did their best to fend them off. Yeah, At least they looks have their like priority straight. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Now see you want to uh, before she goes to do that, she want you want to go in here to look at the because this is where uh, Monica was held prisoner. Monica Rappaccini, she kind of the she's kind of in tr in control of AIM and the Inhumans and the experiments and anyway, she's what huh. dented. Bruce was pretty mad. Yeah. Like I said, I wish I had started recording this. Oh, there's Terrigen. This perplink stuff is everywhere. Yeah, it's like Terrigen, dark Terrigen that they're using on the Inhumans and draining the Inhumans and killing them, uh, killing the kids that become Inhuman, like Kamala and Ms. Marvel. And, um. Here's some more of the cutscene. Okay. Interrogation footage. There's gotta be a clue here somewhere. Let me guess. You're planning a big reveal at the Adaptoid launch. This Come this on, Monica, give me something. This happened earlier in the story. Scour the earth. You will not find our lab. The Adaptoids will launch, Bruce. Saving the world requires sacrifice. <sighs> useless this is I just want to talk to my dad calling Yusuf Khan no no don't Jarvis I didn't mean to hello Beta is that you oh come on if you're there I miss you so much look I'm not angry I just want you to come home Oh, that's sad about. I'm sorry. She's been gone. I should never have told you to hide your powers. Perhaps you're scared, a little unsure. The important thing is that you always stay true to yourself. I love you, Beta. Yeah. See, she's. Pakistani. <laughs> she she's Pakistani. See this footage. Is points will launch. <laughs> Scour the earth, you will not find our lab. Scour the earth, you will not scour the earth. Scour the earth, you will not scour the earth. Uh oh, she's she's that's right. Of course, the satellite, the satellite. Avengers, if you can hear me, I think I found a clue. This is more of the cutscene. Right, right after. I know I messed up. Hulk and Iron Man I got into. I wanted to blame AIM so bad for what happened to me on A Day. It blinded me. But Cap must have had a good reason for what he did. I, 
I know it. People... People believe in the Avengers. Not just because of your cool powers, but... But because no matter how bad things get, no matter how much you disagree, you always come together. Don't you get it? Your differences are your greatest superpower. I was just some weird kid from Jersey who didn't fit in. But you saw me for who I really was. You accepted me. There's still a bad guy out there who wants to hurt the world. But we can stop him. Good isn't a thing you are. It's a thing you do. It's a thing you do. She said that, um... Well, I think her dad said that to her. I mean... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's just so convenient that it happens to be closed. <laughs> I, uh, I get it. Altitude, dry eyes. Look, I'm uh, not very good at. I'm sorry. So. So, you uh, found a clue? Yeah, it's the interview. Listen. Scour the earth. You will not find our lab. Okay. Monica's right. The lab's not on Earth. I'm not following. Okay, when I was captured, Monica and Tarleton had this argument. Tarleton had to leave the room, and then Monica pulled up the coordinates to this satellite called Ambrosia. Ambrosia? That was a S.H.I.E.L.D. biomedical research project. AIM must have required it during the takeover. It would be a great place to hide proof of inhuman experiments, right? If you wanted to study inhumans on the cellular level, then zero gravity would be a perfect place to do it. Good job. Okay, so we know where we need to go. We just need a way to get there. Project Star Booster. As I recall, you abandoned it because you couldn't generate enough acceleration in the auxiliary rockets. Yeah, yeah, no need to bore everyone with the details. That was before I had access to Mr. Shrinky. Jarvis, get Pim on the phone. We need a way to get up to this space lab. He's the only one who can help. Agony in the anthill. Hey, Tony. Please tell me this is a social call. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'd like to socialize with a few of your pin particles. Need to shrink down an accelerator. <sighs> well, then you'll need to break into a high security aim facility. Ever heard of Meridian? You're gonna have a hard time getting in. That place is no joke. Widow? I gotta say, you give a hell of a speech when you're pissed at us. Look, Nat, uh, we were idiots. I'm, 
As much as I love your squirming, it sounds like we've got work to do. I can get us to Meridian. Us? We're in this together, right? No time to lose. At this point, you can choose whoever you want to, uh, whichever character you want to play. Uh, but during that little story of the, he was Kamala most of the time. Well, Thor was Thor for until that's until all that until now. Well, then Kamala, but now you can be whoever. be the hook because I want to build him up a little then I might go back to the others and build them up confiscated all my research when I was captured. They haven't figured out how to use the particles, but they'll be well protected. Okay. There aren't a lot of ways into Meridian. I think our best bet will be to hijack one of their hyper-circuit trains and take it directly to the heart of the operation. I, I can hack the trains, but it'll leave the anthill exposed. AIM will be able to pinpoint our location. You'll need to hurry. So we go in loud and smash the base up. Good. I prefer the direct approach. Quinjet. In all my time undercover inside AIM, I never could get the clearance to see Meridian. Well, Nat, you're about to get your chance. Uploading the coordinates to the hypercircuit station entrance. Let's move out. By the way, after this storyline. So, you... how many super secret research bases does AIM have? Too many. But Meridian is its most important one, besides New York. Uh, like I was saying, after the Ms. Marvel storyline and, you know, that we're doing now, you can always go back and, you know, and do these over and over and build your character up. These, are, these, are, these will always be available after this point. Agony Ant Hill... Agony and the Ant Hill, like we're doing now. Um, all kinds of storylines. I mean, missions that came from the storyline. And others that, you know, just whatever the game decided to make. Uh, to do missions, you know, to build your character. Oh, you know, before you do missions, make sure you, you know, got everything up to date with your character. You know, check everything, make sure everything's up to date with your character. So level this up.
that put uh, Hulk to level 30 by doing that. Um, the suit, what outfits he's got. Oh, he's got another outfit. Let's see, he's got uh, that one and this one. Don't really see much of a difference. One's broken and one's unbroken. <laughs> they don't really seem to be much of a difference. See, there's that one. And then there's the unbroken. Yeah, there's not much of a difference. One of them, he's got the ripped, or just the remnants of the shirt left on around his wrists. But the shorts, I think, are about the same. And the other doesn't have those rem remnants of the ripped shirt. It's about the only difference, I think. Uh, he does look a little scruffier, broken beard and everything. And I'm broken. He's look like he's shaven. So, yeah, there's a little differences, but not much. I like the broken. At this point, he's upset and everything. And let's see what emote he's got. There's that one. Uh, takedown. There's that takedown. Nameplate. Let's see what nameplates. Uh, there's that one. There's that one. That's the current one I got. And then there's this one. Um, I guess we'll go with this one. We'll change them up. You change your nameplates to what you want. Keep it. I like the ones that have the Hulk on it. Like the one, like the one with the dog. I mean, I don't know why they got some of these nameplates. You know, but it, you know, nameplates are up to you. That's for when you got uh go on missions with uh, the other strike team and you can see the other strike team's nameplates and stuff. Just kinda defines your character as to who's who and what you know, such. Okay, we got that. Okay, it looks like we got everything. Let's check our challenge card. See what we need on our challenge card. Uh, stun robotic enemies 15 uh, defeat synthoids and proto synthoids 25 of them that's for your daily weekly defeat exos dreadbots or adaptoids 10 of them um, hit three or more enemies with a single heavy attack or power attack 30 times <coughs> so um, you do it 30 times three or more enemies 30 times <laughs> that's quite a lot um, so it's like 90 at least 90 90 enemies at least um, if I'm thinking calculating right those are just 10 those are just 25 those are just 15 um... okay we checked our challenge card um... Ooh, let's see what skills see if we get any skill points yeah we got one skill point to spend let's see if we can got a specialty to spend um... Uh, let's see we can't do that one because it's not 15 let's see uh, bone shaker. Let's see the bone shaker. Oh yeah, there's that one. 
by four seconds increases by four seconds uh, see this one is where he grabs them and tosses them, slams them and all that uh, restores up to 60% of maximum willpower okay well let's see let's go back to primary let's see what we got uh, quickly press okay and try to figure which ones I like the oh yeah there's that one I like let's see well, we got to do one of these up here before we can after grabbing an enemy hold uh, the green arrow or the green triangle or whatever button <laughs> uh, hold the grasp of an enemy Ooh. oh yeah that one's already acquired let's see when in midair, hold right after you got an enemy. So slam the enemy to the ground, launch the enemy. Okay. okay, we gotta do that. That's required. What's over here? That was one page. Take down this boost the energy of intrinsic rage meter by 15 points. Okay. Um, power strike. After grabbing one enemy, hold to leap up and slam the enemy onto the ground. Well, maybe. Well, that was already acquired. Okay. Well, let's below it. Right. Smack, smack down required. That must be this one. Smack down, yeah. And I can't get that one until I'm level 10, so I, that's the only one I can choose. Um, or that one or that one uh, or that one or that one not really much to choose from but that one and this one are two of my favorite actually I think I'll go with this one grabbing the enemy I always like that one like I said on Xbox I've got all of these I'm at power 150 or higher I'm at level 50 which is the maximum you can get on the hero level level 50 right now I'm at level 5 on PlayStation um, uh, yeah but I like this one okay no more skill points so we'll go back um, consumables you know I forgot all about my consumables earlier um, I, I, I plum forgot about my consumables that I've had for more than two hours now that I could have used for the past hour two hours don't forget to check these if if you get them when you get them Um, I probably won't be, re I'll probably stop broadcasting here in a little bit. I'll do about an hour's worth, or another 10 minutes. Um, uh, uh, I don't know. So you get more fragments. One and a half times. Yeah, I didn't need to level up. Oh well. I was. I'll waste an hour, but. Oh well. Go ahead and activate it. Although. Although I won't be playing the whole two hours for the. Because uh, I gotta. I gotta get some sleep here in a few minutes or about an hour is what I'm trying to say then shipments um, shipments is pretty cool you got this get this over here about getting the the new Hawkeye Civil uh, Captain America Civil War outfit I'm at 38 out of 100 and uh, on certain missions 
there's a certain mission where you can get this and do it for free. You don't have to spend any units or, uh, uh, but, okay, let's go back to the mission. Now that we did all that, checked everything. Uh, usually it doesn't take me that long to do all this, but you want to get all the resources that you possibly can. You want to, you want to check, you want to check everything. You want to, you want to, you want to get on these platforms and check for. I like, see that. Look, I can see already. There's a, there's a. A goody chest or uh, uh, right here. Well, I'll call them goody chests. You just got goodies in it. Don't ask me why I keep forgetting. I know you, I know you're telling me it's a um, strong box. I know you. Are you saying, uh, Jedi, it's a strong box, it's a strong box, it's, you know, but yeah, I know, I, I forget sometimes, I know, I forget sometimes, it's called a strong box, like I said, you, um, uh, scour the map, uh, <laughs> look, look everywhere, look everywhere, I mean everywhere, to find resources, uh, strong boxes, goodie boxes, treasure chests, you know, look everywhere, because you want to, especially your first time playing, you want to get, you want to get all the, you want to get all the goodies you can, you want to get all the resources you can, you know, to help, uh, the resources help you and the vendors to buy stuff and, you know, uh, uh, sometimes there's issues with the characters doing, doing their thing. Oh, you don't want to fall off the ledge there. Well, that ain't that far down. But still, you don't want to. You don't want to drop off that. You don't want to drop off that. You nervous about using Pim's particle tech on your suit? Tank's smart, but his Pim particles are unstable on their best day. If he can get it working, it might be just what we need. So, let's say hoping for a miracle. You know I can still hear you, right? Oh crap, Nat. We did it again. Sorry. Changing channels. <laughs> That, w that was the Queen Jet that just flew over. Sometimes it's cool to watch the Queen Jet fly over. Okay, the. Uh, our intrinsics um, meters showed up. That means there's enemies nearby. Whenever you see this, whenever you see these symbols in the bottom right corner, that means there's enemies they're about yep, there they are and as you can see Hulk is doing pin particle damage um, well we lost I was trying to get him before he climbed up the mountain, but unfortunately we didn't get him before he climbed up, but at the same time we got him, uh oh, there's more enemies, oh here we go. See how, see the pim. That's what pim particles does. It, shri so it, proud of me. it shrinks them. It shrinks the enemy down. No matter what the enemy is, it can be as 
it can be as big as this rock and or shrink it down to a little bitty but if you ever watched Ant-Man it's like uh, well you saw it, it was pretty small Like I said, you want to search everywhere. You want to search everywhere for. You want to search everywhere. Oh, there's an enemy around right here. Looks like Iron Man took care of him. Oh, there's another enemy somewhere. Up there on the mountain. Every now and then you want to um, hit the hit up on the D-pad to to see uh, if there's any question marks. Which that's where the goodie boxes or the uh, the treasure boxes are located. I know I forgot what they're called again, uh, but we good, we'll just call them goodie boxes. Uh, then we get the of course the goodie boxes come with enemies We can access the nearby equipment bunker if we shut down its energy nodes
I hate what I hate when these enemies disappear. They, uh, I think that that's the game cheats, and I don't like when it cheats like that because it, it just it just seems to be unfair. I don't know, to me it's kind of an unfair advantage. You got these switches too to get to get your uh, goodie boxes. I don't know why I forget them. You have to forgive me. Uh, I don't know why I forget them so easy of what those goodie of what those goodie boxes are called. But, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know why I forget them. get why these enemy keeps keep sprawling up keep coming out of nowhere spawning they keep respawning it's just weird that they keep respawning See, sometimes you'll find inhumans that were that were captured, and then you want to and we'll release them from their imprisonment, their captivity. I appreciate the help, Avengers. That did it. The O. You're safe now.
Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I had I had this room that I opened up or I had I way it's called a waypoint where you get the somebody else to do a certain job that can see you got what you call um you got what you call uh smashers and those that can uh access terminals and smashers are the ones like Hulk and Iron or not well Iron Man if he's in his uh Hulk Buster. Uh you but you got Hulk that can smash doors, Ms. Marvel that can smash doors, Captain America that can smash doors, Thor that can smash doors. Um the rest of them you have to get them to open the doors with the access panel. Uh, let's see. It looks like the only thing left is the uh, agenda. Oh, here we go again. They keep respawning. On the positive side, on the positive side, it helps. It helps uh, with the uh, event prog progression. We can move on without them respawning. There's something over here I want to get. This green thing is a something. A piece of armor or a weapon or something. Let's let's pause a minute and see what what became of it. Uh, we got. Uh, we got this. Ten ten point five percent increased critical chance, critical chance, power attacks about, about the same. Really the same thing, valor and might, is there no difference? Uh, it's lower than what I got, so I don't really want it. Let's see what the melee we got. They don't have any perks, so I don't want it. And that one's lower than the one I got, so I don't want it. Um, well, we got two of them here that's all all green. <laughs> no pun intended, but it, we got an all green going here. Um. 15% chance perfectly range for the energy grab a merge pillow that, that causes nearby enemies to float in the air. Perfect evading triggers anti gravity missile pillow that causes them to float in the air. Oh, okay. So it's 15%, 16%. <laughs> but, well, well let it go up so it's all let's get rid of that one because it's all red now uh, so this overall uh, uh. okay we got that uh, updated um see now we got hulk up to power 32 uh where he started off is um uh, 22 i think 
25, maybe 25. Um, well, um, well, I'll let it go a little longer. But you get the idea of how to do. There's the hyper circuit station. It's protected by a force field. Destroy the field's power source and I'll hack into their system to call a train. Understood. You want to get rid of these turrets. See, they fire at you and you know, try to get rid of them. You always want to try to get rid of the turrets. Hopefully, you try to get rid of them first. You want to try to get rid of the turrets first. That way, uh. Uh, dismiss my waypoint <laughs> from way back yonder. Oh, here's a goodie box. I know. I call them goodie boxes. I know you're telling me what they are. I apologize for. I don't know. I guess I'm getting all timers. I'm I'm old. All timers. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Call me an old fart, old timer, forgetful old man, I don't know. Forget something simple as a treasure chest or goodie box. But the actual name of it. I don't I don't know why I forget. Um Unit box, I know that's not right either. Um I don't know, it'll come back to me. But I'll forget it as soon as it comes back to me, so I don't know why I bother. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess because I call them. I guess because I'm calling. Uh, I guess I'm so used to calling them. I guess because I'm so used to calling them goodie boxes that I forget the actual name of them. Oh, our objective's over here on this side, huh? Well, I don't know. Not good. I don't like the sound of Collecting a lot of those uh, Rokaya chips or whatever they call.
ready for... I got Hulk leveled up to s hero level six, as you can see. Let's see what do we get here? Some melee gear. Let's let's check our let's check our gear. Let's see what we got. We got some uh, defensive gear. Which. Ain't really that much, and we got. I know we got some melee gear, which really ain't that much either. Um, I'm probably gonna quit broadcasting, uh, so I can, so I can finish this game, as I gotta get some sleep. Uh, I got church tomorrow. I know. You're thinking, church? Well, why would he be up this late for church? If he's got church in the morning. Well, uh, yes, that's true. I do have church in the morning. Uh, I worship at Oklahoma Church of Christ. Well, I don't go there in person because uh, right now, Right now I'm on, uh, well, let's just say me and the Oklahoma Church of Christ uh, have been in a disagreement since uh, there's, the, we're in a spat. There's, uh, there's an ongoing thing between me and the Oklahoma Church of Christ and the elders and a lot of the members that, uh, that, uh, that we had a falling out on and and I haven't been back in person although and I know you're saying well why do you want to watch the worship on YouTube well I don't know the preacher there Josh Watkins he I don't know he he's a good preacher he's good to listen to He's a good preacher to listen to. Um, I believe he's I believe he's led by God to speak God's message through him. I believe God speaks through Josh Watkins. I don't know. It is my church. It was my church before before it was ninety percent of those that that are there currently. And uh, I've been, I've been ma making, I've been taking Bible notes and stuff to back up my claim, to back up my argument against my falling out with them. And so I know you're saying a while ago about, well, why am I staying up this late to worship God in the morning? And I'll be getting up about seven. 7:45 to worship God. Well, actually, I don't start worshiping God until 10:30. But uh, I watch, I watch, I watch the worship on YouTube on my 65-inch TV. I watch it on TV. It's kind of like watching. It's kind of like watching other church services on TV at the Oklahoma Church of Christ in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, at 6501 Outer Loop, the o Oklahoma Church of Christ at 6105 Outer Loop in Louisville, Kentucky. They, uh, that's the ones I have a fallen out with. Uh, the Outer Loop, uh, with the elders, elders and such. Uh, and a lot of the members, uh, well, I've been taking Bible notes and, and Bible scriptures to so that if I do decide to go back there and talk to the elders that I've got a good argument and maybe a good lawyer uh, but I don't know that I'll need the lawyer uh, 
I'm not saying that I'll need Delario. I just don't think uh, Delario will be necessary if I can get them to listen to reasoning as to why why they did me wrong. They did me wrong about two two and a half years ago. Uh, Uh, and and I haven't been there in person for the past two and a half years now. Uh, so. Well, I don't know that it's been two and a half years. It might be just, it might be a little under two years, but I don't know. I think it was. I think it was 2020. It was during the pandemic, anyway, when mo most of most of everything was shut down, and 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 everybody mo most uh, most people was doing uh, their businesses remotely you know through uh, what's the name of that uh, there's a uh, zoom yeah that zoom well I was doing uh, I was doing Bible study on zoom with the elders and other men of the church and well other church members and uh, and uh, well, uh, I had a falling out, and uh, I had I had a falling out and a disagreement, and uh, and I haven't been back to I haven't been back on Zoom since. Uh, and uh and I need to you know let's just say they they cut they cut me off they they said I wasn't welcome back to church uh they said I wasn't allowed to come back because of my disagreements with them uh my falling out with them and 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 so I got scriptures I got scriptures to and I well, um, but anyway, I gotta end this broadcast so I, so I can finish my game and get ready for, so I can do this, this will be my last mission because I got about 25 minutes before I need to call it a night, so... Till next time. Um, until next time. I appreciate y'all um, watching my broadcast for the very first time. Thank you.